In double replacement reactions, the ions are doing a little square dance. The metal ions switch off with who they're dancing with. Sodium was dancing with sulfate, now it's going to dance with nitrate. Barium was dancing with nitrate, now barium's going to dance with sulfate. It's like a big chemical square dance. Everybody switches off who they're dancing with. You go to a dance with your significant other, your best friend goes to a dance with their significant other, and you and your friend switch off which significant other they're dancing with. That's all there is to double replacement. So sodium and barium switch places. So instead of sodium sulfate, it'll be barium sulfate. And instead of barium nitrate, it'll be sodium nitrate. Now, let's write some formulas by looking up some charges. Barium has a charge of plus 2. And sulfate has a charge of negative 2. So that's the properly written formula for barium sulfate. What about sodium nitrate? Well, sodium is plus 1. And nitrate is minus 1. So that's a properly written formula as well. Two sodiums, one sodium. One sulfate, one sulfate. Again, there is one sulfate. One barium, one barium. Two nitrates, two nitrates. If it helps you to put parentheses around the polyatomic ion when there are none, you can use that sort of like training wheels for now. Just by the end of the course, get to the point where you don't need them anymore. The only time you need parentheses around the polyatomic ion is if you're going to have to write a number outside the parentheses. Otherwise, there's no need for them. If you feel that they'll help you for now, by all means put them, okay? But eventually get to the point where you don't need them anymore. For the next example, if we have sodium chloride and silver nitrate, the sodium and silver will swap off who they're bonded to. Instead of sodium chloride, it'll be silver chloride. And instead of silver nitrate, it'll be sodium nitrate. Now, I'm gonna, I hear you ask there, and you're screaming, well, why isn't it Na with Ag and Cl with NO3? Remember, the one that's written first is the one with the positive charge. Positive and positive can't bond to each other, right? They repel, not attract. Similarly, negative and negative can't attract. They repel. The only, ha the only thing that can happen is the positive ion of this compound bonds with the negative ion of the other compound, and vice versa. Okay, let's get some charges here to write some formulas. Ag and Cl. Ag is plus 1, Cl is minus 1. What about sodium nitrate, Na and NO3? Na is plus 1. NO3 is minus 1. So that's the formula for sodium nitrate. And because we have the same number of ions on both sides, one sodium, one sodium, one chloride, one chloride, one silver, one silver, one nitrate, one nitrate, or if it makes you happier, one nitrate, one nitrate, it's now completely balanced. For the last example here, the cobalt and the sodium will trade places. So instead of being cobalt chloride, it'll be sodium chloride. And instead of sodium carbonate, it'll be cobalt carbonate. Let's write some charges. First of all, sodium and chloride. Sodium is plus one, chloride is minus one. So that's the formula. What about cobalt carbonate? Well, cobalt has two charges listed on the periodic table, plus two and plus three. How do we know which one to use? Take a look at the charge on this side. This is not a redox reaction. So whatever the charges are on the left, they're going to have the same charges on the right. Two chlorides means cobalt was plus two charge. If it had been plus three, it would be COCl3. So that charge remains plus two on that side. And carbonate is minus two. So that's the formula for that compound. Let's balance it. One cobalt, one cobalt. Two chlorines, one chlorine. Two sodiums, two sodiums. One carbonate, if you prefer doing it that way. One carbonate on both sides. It's now completely balanced. Chemical reactions are used by human beings to create products that we want to make. We can make double, 
We can use double replacement reactions to make products. We can even make a precipitate. Easy. Let's say we wanted to make lead 2 chloride. That's a product we want to make. We've got a couple of options. We could take lead and chlorine, use a synthesis reaction, and make lead 2 chloride. We could do a single replacement reaction where lead reacted with a less active metal chloride, like HCl, to make PBCl2. But if you want to make it with double replacement, let's see how we do that. First, write the formula of the precipitate you want to make. It's going to be a product, so I'm going to put it over here, PBCl2. Now, we're going to take the positive ion, lead is plus 2, and the negative ion, minus 1, and we're going to split them apart. PB plus 2, Cl minus 1. And what I'm going to do is look on reference table F and find soluble compounds of lead and chloride. Because to be double replacement, your reactants both have to be dissolved in water. Let's find a good soluble lead solution. Lead is positive. Let's find a soluble negative ion. The best soluble negative ion to use is nitrate. I know these also say that they are all sol soluble, but in most cases they're just slightly soluble. Lead does not like dissolving in water. Your best bet, nitrate. You cannot go wrong with NO3-1. So we're going to use lead 2 nitrate, which will be dissolved in water because it's soluble. Now we need to find a soluble chloride compound. The chlorides are usually soluble. There's only three exceptions. But you know what? Why take chances? Use a positive ion that's always soluble, like a group 1 ion or ammonium. I'm going to go with a group 1 ion, LiNa, K. Okay, which one of those do I want? Uh, let's use potassium, K. K, like all group 1 metals, has a charge of plus 1. So what will happen is, not only will you make PbCl2, you'll also make K with NO3. And let's see, since the charges don't change, it's easy to find the formula. K is plus 1, and nitrate is minus 1. Beautiful, that's the formula. Let's balance this. One lead, one lead, oh, sorry, this is aqueous. One lead, one lead, two nitrates, one nitrate, Let's put a 2 in front, right, because there's only one nitrate on that side. 1K, 2Ks, we'll put a 2 here. 2 chlorines, 2 chlorines, now you're good to go. So that's how you complete and balance double replacement reactions.